More than four years after a man was shot to death in a car outside a Willowbrook apartment, one of the deputies involved in that shooting is going to jail. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero says the parents of the father killed in the gunfire face the former deputy at today's sentencing. The click of handcuffs is a sound often heard in this downtown L.A. courthouse, but rarely like this. Former L.A. County Sheriff's Deputy Andrew Lyons is taken behind bars to an applause on behalf of Ryan Twyman's friends, family, and advocates. The 24-year-old father of three was sitting in this white car June 2019 when two deputies approached with guns drawn. Twyman put the car in reverse, hitting one, then both started shooting. Lyons went back to the patrol car to get a rifle. Combined, they fired at least 34 shots, killing Twyman. Officials said Twyman was under investigation for felony weapons charges. At the time, prosecutors say he was unarmed. His parents faced Lyons today. Aren't there a couple of ways that you could have thought of getting him out the car besides of what you did? Because you came there to do what you did. No reaction from Lyons, whose fate was already decided. There's no victory here today. Only positive outcome uh, here today is that you will not will be able to continue doing what you did to my son. In the outrage after the shooting, Twyman's family said he was murdered. For how heavy of a word that is out here, it takes on a whole new meaning in there. With regard to this disposition... Uh... Prosecutors eventually went with an involuntary manslaughter charge that, if convicted, could have landed Lyons 11 years in prison. But the case was instead settled on two felony assault charges. To this charge, how do you plead? No contest. You understand a no contest plea has the same force and effect as a guilty plea? Yes, I do. 30 days in jail plus two years of probation. The legal facts of the case are up for interpretation. Outside of court, Lyons' defense team said he did not kill Twyman and accused the prosecution of being politically motivated. By waiving their preliminary hearing, though, his attorneys never took the opportunity to challenge the evidence in court. When asked how this decision will affect law enforcement, former LAPD officer turned LA County District Attorney George Gascon said agencies will likely reiterate department policies. Reality is a particular case. Uh, the behavior of the deputies was contrary to their training, uh, was contrary to their policy, so I'm not sure that the sheriff's department could have done any differently. In 2021, after an investigation, the LASD fired Lyons. This conviction goes a step further. He will never be able to be a peace officer in the state of California again. He will never be able to carry a firearm legally again. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.